If all the content is not taken down off of your channel, Marissa, by 9 p.m. about Roddy, I will be sending this email to both you and the NAACP. I'm sure they'd be interested in all of Dean's blackface content and racist since you live in that area. If all the content is not taken down off of your channel, Marissa, by 9 p.m. about Roddy. Before we get started, I just want to give a disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please do not send anyone any hate. This is meant for fun, for comedy, for entertainment. This is my artistic way of giving my opinion on things going on on YouTube. And let's get into it. I don't take kindly to threats popcorn, okay? Your apology is null and void now. You can shove it up your ass. Threatening to contact the NAACP, which is, I believe, from what I've looked up, like a black organization that helps the black community. So I think it's really interesting that Popcorn is weaponizing black people to try to come after me and Dean for her own benefit. Does anybody really think that she cares about racism or the black community? I don't think so. So I think it seems more racist to me for Popcorn to be weaponizing a community and implying that they're going to come attack me and Dean or get our channels deleted somehow. I'm so confused at the threat. And why am I going to remove videos that I was telling the truth and giving my opinion? I told her if she wanted them removed after she apologized to Sarah, I would gladly remove the video. When it comes to what Roddy mom was saying, I want to start with this one because she is admitting here that she is bullying someone that she considers mentally unstable. She is mentally unstable. She needs mental help for real. So why is Roddy attacking somebody that she thinks is mentally unwell and telling this person that their son does not exist and never died. That's disgusting. She's literally telling everyone that if somebody is mentally unstable and mentally unwell, she has no problem bullying and, and attacking them about their children. Let's take a look at what Roddy had to say about Sarah, since they all want to lie and backtrack now. Sarah made up a story of a dead child, a child she doesn't even have, to gain sympathy from people and probably get money from people, and that is just wrong in more ways than one. First off, the odd one has no biological children, dead or alive. How do you know this, Julie? Hmm? Spoiled Rotten Boutique, this is what the owner, um... This is what the owner of Spoiled Rotten Boutique is doing with her spare time. Looking into people's dead children to harass them and cyber bully them on the internet. Really nice. Sunshine, I told you, babes, I have nothing but time on my hands. I did my research and she does not have any biological children. Why don't y'all stop and think about that? Again, the Sarah I investigated is from Decatur, Georgia and has zero children. How are you going to sue me for defamation when you have said this yourself? You admitted to doing background investigating on Sarah. You said you knew for a fact she didn't have any children, dead or alive. Maybe you'll think twice now before making statements like that. It's very dangerous that the owner of Spoiled Rotten Boutique, who collects people's information when they buy from her store, as much as y'all want to say that's not a concern, that's my opinion, and I'm allowed to have it. I have seen people in other communities take the information from people buying things from them and dox people with it. If somebody goes into her boutique and purchases from her, like Shannon Moore, the second Coley and Shannon Moore fall out again, guess who has her information? Roddy Mom. Guess who has zero boundaries and has no problem digging into people who she doesn't like? Shannon Moore is about to buy from Roddy Mom's store, 
knowing she admitted to running Sarah's name or who she thought was Sarah and doing a background check on her. This idiot is going to give Julie, a.k.a. Roddy Mom, her full name and address. <laughs> wow, Shannon, you better hope Coley doesn't get mad at you. You better hope that Roddy doesn't get mad at you. Because she loves intimidating and cyberbullying people with the information that she thinks she has. That's the concern. There is not no defamation there. She doesn't have a case. Or should I say there's no deformation there. <laughs> because she actually did what I'm saying she did. Okay, Mrs. Roadhog, you now want to scream saying you haven't seen the receipts? I always got the receipts, motherfuckers, okay? I do not do anything without receipts. I do not say anything without backing it up. Y'all should know that about me by now. Coley knows that I'm not a fucking liar, okay? Coley and Roddy were sitting on panel one night laughing and kikiing, saying how they're running background checks on everybody, and now Coley wants to sit and act like she's doing it for true crime? Really? Roddy, were you doing a true crime case on Sarah's odd? Is that why you did a background check on her? Is that why? Or did you do it because your new friends don't like her? Because she never threatened you. She never doxed you. She never hurt your family, talked about your children, or anything like that. So what is your justification? I would love to hear it because you don't have one, you dumb bitch, okay? You don't have one. You screwed up. And I gave you a choice and said you can apologize if you want me to take my videos down. I have no problem taking my videos down about your shop if you apologize for what you did to Sarah. You've been bullying people in Popcorns and Jughead's comments for months, girl for months and it stops now. You're disgusting. You've ruined Coley's channel. You've ruined her friendships. No wonder why LB kicked you to the curb, girl, because you were causing all kinds of trouble, weren't you? And do you think people aren't noticing that you're blocking them out of Coley's chat and pretending that you're not? We see it. We see it. We see you controlling her. We see you dragging her channel down. We see you having all of these people do your dirty work, you nasty, nasty trash hole. I knew you were a shit stirring bitch from the second I saw you when you caused issues between LB and Coley. I knew it. I knew you were trouble. And you know what? Now that I think about it, Roddy pretty much owes everyone an apology. Me, Tira, um, Sarah, Chicago, BTU, Dawn, Terry Lynn, Cursed Eye, Cynthia, all the subscribers and creators that have been being bullied, harassed, and threatened. Auntie Lauren was harassed and called a pedo by multiple of these people, and all of them just think it's so funny to put that label on somebody. Jughead called my husband a, a pedo and lied and made false criminal accusations that he's putting kids on pee sites. And Roddy is supporting all of this. This is the problem, okay? Not only did Roddy mom do this background check on Sarah, right? But this was one of many things that these people have been doing to me and Sarah and many others for months. So she participated in a group attack on so many of us by being in the comments, by being in chats and hanging out with all these people, supporting them, enabling their doxing and threatening and harassing behavior, okay? Supporting what all these nasty people are doing and saying about all of us. So she helped perpetuate this horrible thing that was going on. So Roddy not only did this dirty shit herself, okay, but Coley and Roddy were supporting and hanging out with these people and enabling the behavior. Coley made these people moderators, Cassie, 
popcorn, jugheads in her chat every night, okay? And it's not about just who you let in your chat and who you don't let in your chat, okay? We're going to get to that a little bit later in the video. It's about hanging out with these people in the comments, in live streams, bullying and ganging up on other people in the way of harassment, threats, doxing, and all of this stuff. Roddy was in the comments when I'm being threatened, when my child's being talked about, when other people's kids are being posted and talked about, when people are being threatened. So she owes everyone an apology. And unfortunately for her, because of the fact that Coley promotes her Etsy shop all over YouTube and her and Coley have been behaving this way, people have a right to comment about her store as well. Because guess what? She is the owner of the store. And the owner of the store has been participating in some really disgusting, toxic, nasty behavior. So I'm allowed to talk about it, period. So let's see, I exposed Jughead, okay, like I said I was going to. I exposed Black Wolf, like I said I was going to. Um, I'm calling you out with your boutique. And next is Popcorn, because, you know, she wants to threaten me now and revert back to her old ways and behaviors. So she's gonna be exposed next. It is what it is, no stopping it now. Um, I did find some things out that are very interesting. You guys will be seeing more about that soon. I told you guys when I did my first video about all of you nasty people that I wasn't going to put up with it and I was going to find who every single one of you were. And that's what I did. And stop saying Jughead got doxxed. Her TikTok had 1,600 followers. Her 1,600 follower TikTok had her full name, and so did her Twitter. Just because you guys call it a dox doesn't make it one. You know who got doxed? Me. Cursed I. BTU. Chicago. Terry Lynn. Okay? Dawn got threatened with her personal information. Uh, Cynthia. So many subscribers got threatened simply for supporting Sarah. Terry Lynn and Cursed Eyes, kids were posted by Jughead. Y'all have been doing nasty stuff for months, okay? So I don't want to hear it. And if people don't like what I'm doing, that's fine. I'm at peace with that because I know in my soul and heart and conscience that I'm doing the right thing. I think all of these people have the right to know who's been doing this to them. And if you have a problem with it, I don't care. If you have a problem with me exposing Black Wolf as a porn addict who cucks on the weekends, somebody who's been calling me a meth whore and a dope whore and doxing my dead ex and doxing me, all this stuff for two years, the guy's been harassing me for two fucking years and I haven't done a thing back to him. The second I stand up and defend myself and other people who are called whores on a daily basis and doxxed and threatened, some people want to act like I'm just as bad. No, no, no. That's not the way it works. We are not the same. And if anyone can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. I, do, I really don't because I'm defending people. I'm defending myself, my family, other people and their families. I'm not going around doxing and taking license plates like they did to BTU, contacting her husband, finding out all her information from a vlog that has like freaking 10 subscribers. I'm not doing this to innocent people. I'm fighting back because I care about this community. I'm not going to just get off the internet. None of us should have to get off the internet or get a hobby like Steph says. And I'm not... Even throwing shade at Steph. I honestly think she just doesn't even know half the stuff that's been going on. I, I really think that that's the case. But if you don't have a solution to the problem, don't criticize my methods. If you're not going to make videos and streams calling out BTU, being harassed, Chicago, all of these people, Sarah's out, all of these people. If you're not going to make videos, you haven't called any of this out. My artistic son being dragged. 
None of that. No videos. Nothing. Nothing was said. So if you're not going to call it out, I don't think that you should come on here and criticize everyone and lump us in with these nasty people because we are not like them. We will never be like them. I have morals and I do have boundaries. I would never go after children. I would never do anything like that. But I will expose who these people are because it needs to be done. Somebody's got to do it and I'm going to be the one that does it. And I am at peace with anybody who doesn't agree with me. That's fine. You don't have to. I'm not here to be liked. I'm not here to have some big channel. This is a hobby for me. I like to talk about toxic people, toxic communities, and that's what I'm doing. Except these people are in extreme, a very specific extreme situation. I'm not going to go around just exposing and doxing every single person I don't like on the internet. I have never done that. I will never do that. But I will expose people who are doxing, threatening, harassing, and doing the things that these people are doing. And I will not apologize for it. Because I'm standing up and I'm doing something. This is all I know how to do. And you know what? It's working pretty well because these people are triggered. Okay? I'm not trying to change them. I'm not trying to do anything other than make them feel even a tenth of what they have been doing to people. Somebody is now driving around my neighborhood, taking videos of my house and sending it to these people. That's the level of crazy these people are. So I will continue to do what I think is best. And if you want to support me, I, I appreciate your support so much. And if you don't want to support me, if you don't agree with this, that's fine too. I get it. You can unsubscribe, come back later when this is all said and done, because at some point I will be getting back to my regular content. In fact, I have some videos coming that I think you guys are going to enjoy. <laughs> One of them is about Radiant Brit. Oh, we need to roast Radiant Brit. I feel like I haven't done that in a while and we need like a palate cleanser. So <laughs> a Radiant Brit roast is coming. I want to talk about Coley for a minute because she keeps spreading this whole thing that, oh, everyone's just mad because people are coming into my chat. She's reducing and minimizing the entire situation to deflect from people's actual issues with her by saying, oh, everyone's just mad. Why can't people come into my chat? It's not about that, Coley. And I feel like you intentionally miss the point when people are upset with you for many different things. A channel went live the other day. Uh, his new name now is actually Conjuring Conversation. I will leave the channel down below. And him and another creator, Jaded Take, were talking about hypocrisy and bias and creators telling people that they can go wherever they want. I don't care where you go as long as you support me. And then when they see subscribers in chats of people they don't like, they flip out and get mad. Well, Coley decides to come in the chat and make her presence known by saying, you have people in the chat who are doing that. Which is funny because she gave me all kinds of shit for coming into her chat and allegedly starting to cause fights with people. But here she comes into somebody else's chat trying to start trouble, writing in all caps, trying to start a fight. I thought that was interesting. But nobody is saying that People cannot go in Coley's chat. That's not the problem, okay? These are a couple of my issues. One, she is not just letting people in her chat. She is supporting a group of people who, I, like I said, have been bullying, threatening, and attacking people. It doesn't matter who goes in her chat. It's not about that. If these people knew that Coley did not support or condone what they were doing, they would not even be in her chat. But no, she is so desperate to be liked that anytime someone comes in her chat, even if they're doing horrible things to people, horrible, disgusting things, she's just going to act like it's not happening. Another issue is Coley goes around white knighting for people that she becomes friends with in a week and then she's attacking everyone who's calling these people out. If you want to be friends with these nasty people... That's your choice. But you gotta let other people talk about them and call them out if they've been hurt by these people. 
because Coley, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, or if you're just being willfully ignorant, but this is not petty drama. This is not just shit talking back and forth. People's real lives are being affected. People's mental health is being affected. People are being ran off of YouTube. People are having mental breakdowns. They're having trouble working, living their life doing the things they need to do because they are being terrorized. And you gotta understand that if you are gonna be friends with this group of trolling bullies, people are gonna side eye you and people are gonna have something to say about it. Before we go, I wanna talk a little bit more about popcorn, okay? I will leave the video I did down below. In fact, I'll leave the videos I did on any of these people down below. The Jughead one, the popcorn one. Now, in my video about popcorn, there was there's a lot of receipts in that video. So if you haven't seen that video and you're not really that familiar with what popcorn did, then I suggest you go watch that video because there's a lot of receipts in there. I showed what popcorn said about my autistic child, which she did email me and apologize. Okay, I'm going to be fair and say she did, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um... She said horrible things about kids with autism, but also she was threatening multiple people, threatening to dox people, naming their city and state, saying she was going to come drive to me, drive to this person, drive to that person. Lots of threats and harassment coming from popcorn. Okay, then all of a sudden she comes into my email and wants to apologize to me for what she said about my child. And I'm like, okay, thank you. The problem is, is Popcorn is not sorry for what she did to Sarah. She doesn't want to apologize to all of the other people that were attacked by her. Tira, Lauren, Chicago, BTU, all the subscribers, Terry Lynn, Kursai, none of these people got apologies. And on top of that, she didn't apologize to me publicly or the people who had to listen to her say these ignorant things about autism. She didn't apologize for any of that. So it's like, I'm sitting on it, I'm trying to like, do I want to accept this apology? But I don't want to accept an apology and then just forget about all the other things that she's done to people. But also I feel like she's expecting me to just drop it. Well, after this apology, she started trying to convince me to lay off Roddy Mom, of all people. I'm like, what? It just seemed really weird. It's like she came back and her only mission was to get me to stop talking about Roddy Mom and her boutique, which I thought was really weird. So then I started wondering, maybe it's because Popcorn, Coley, and Roddy have become friends. That's what it seems like. So then I'm wondering, maybe this was not a genuine apology because I'm the only person that got an apology, even though she's done horrible things to other people and she wants to justify it. So I'm going back and forth with her in my comments and so are other people. Lauren's talking about how she was called a pedo. Um, Dawn's talking about how she was threatened. Sarah's odd, you know, BTU Chicago. She's still accusing Chicago and BTU of being sock accounts. When, like, Chicago apparently has the flu, okay? They haven't even been online barely, okay? No one is doing anything to Popcorn. And her whole issue with me, supposedly, was that I inserted myself into a situation that had nothing to do with me, which is not true, okay? But that's what she did. She made a channel to attack all of us. She made a channel just to attack Sarah and me, and she went way too far over a difference of opinion over a YouTube disagreement. That is the problem with this group of people. If you call them out or have an opinion on something or disagree with them, instead of them just arguing with you like a normal person, they threaten you. They dox you. They use your children and traumas against you. They weaponize your mental health. The response to the criticism or the disagreement is so far beyond what uh, acceptable or normal response would be. It's so like disproportionate to the situation. The punishment doesn't fit the crime. It's crazy to me how angry these people get over a disagreement on YouTube and how far they will go.
because you're calling them out. And it happens to me time and time again with Dad Challenge Podcast, with Anora, with Roadhog, with this popcorn person, with any of these crazy ass toxic people that I call out instead of APOC did it to me. Instead of Unmasked did it to me. I mean, it's just like <laughs> countless people have responded to me in this way for calling them out and giving my opinion. They go straight to traumas, children, mental health, doxing, threats. It's not normal behavior. And I don't think any of these people truly even know what the problem is until they all recognize and understand that their responses to people are not normal and very unhinged and way out of the realm of what would be a an acceptable response to criticism even shit talking they don't realize that and that shows me when i talk to popcorn or any of these people when you call them out for what they did they say yeah but yeah but and the but right what follows the but is not anything like yeah but they doxed me yeah but they threatened me yeah but they talked about me no the yeah but is yeah but sarah accused me of being ames that's what popcorn said sarah accused me of being ames so in turn i made a channel and decided to harass her about her dead child jughead came after btu over alicia freaking doherty they don't even realize how psychotic that is. Jughead started has been harassing BTU ever since the disagreement about Alicia Darty and the drunk freaking driving with her teenager and Alex and the permit and that whole thing. Why is the immediate response to go that far and that low? And that's another reason why I am not accepting by anybody that I am doing the same thing as them. I will not accept that I am like these people because if somebody calls me out or disagrees with me, my response is not to dox them, threaten them, harass them, use their children, use their traumas, use their family members. I don't do that. If you threaten me, dox me and harass me and all that stuff, yeah, I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are and tell everyone especially all the people that you hurt as well. But I don't do that over simple, dumb YouTube disagreements. That's the difference. Anyway, so Popcorn's trying to play nice with me, right? And I believe it's to get me to back off Roddy because now it seems like her sole mission in life is to white knight for Roddy, okay? And let's take note here that Roddy allegedly okay in my opinion seems to be having popcorn and coley do her dirty work roddy doesn't seem like she wants this to end all she had to do was apologize for what she did to sarah which was wrong it's a fact what she did to sarah was wrong and her excuse and reasoning is bullshit it's bullshit she's like i just wanted to know about the person who was causing trouble sarah wasn't the one causing trouble your new friends were roddy all you had to do was apologize, and I would remove the stuff about your boutique. But no, instead, she's threatening to sue me, get my channel deleted. She's having popcorn threaten me now. Real professional. Real professional of this boutique owner, okay, of Spoiled Rotten Boutique. The owner of Spoiled Rotten Boutique has their friend popcorn threatening me and telling me if I don't remove the video, she's contacting the NAACP really professional really really professional roddy so when playing nice didn't work okay because i wouldn't lay off roddy because i didn't do anything wrong popcorn then decides to make this video that i showed the first clip of the video threatening me saying if i don't remove my videos by 9 p.m she's sending an email to the naacp in my area about me and dean and all this stuff i'm like <laughs> okay Dean doesn't have anything racist on his channel. I don't have anything racist on my channel. Like, okay. Anyways. So, after I didn't comply, okay, 10 minutes before 9 o'clock, I get another email from Popcorn, this long thing. I'm just trying to know your intentions, okay? And what I didn't like is she brought up my child again. 
And she's saying stuff like, why are you putting your children on the back burner to fight these people? Excuse me? And then she's talking about my disabled child again and saying things like, oh, I don't know what your kids are like or whatever, but I see other people's kids and I don't get it. Like, what are you even talking about? I am so tired of the mom shaming. I am so tired of these people using the fact that you have children to bully you into making you feel some type of way that you're online. Moms are allowed to be online. Anything I do online does not take away from my children, ever. My children come first. I don't even spend that much time on YouTube. I'll be gone off YouTube all freaking day and not come on sometimes till freaking three in the morning. I take very well care of, my children are very well cared for, okay? During the day, most of them are at school, including my autistic son who does school and therapy all at the same place. So thank you for your passive aggressive fake concern, Popcorn, but my children are just fine. All right, now Popcorn's channel is deleted conveniently after I told her now that she wants to threaten me, I'm going to expose you, okay, which I am. Every single person that was involved in this trolling group, harassing and bullying, doxing people in my fucking community is getting exposed. And if you don't like it, eat shit. It is what it is. Okay, guys, this video is long enough. Please let me know what you think down below. And I will see you in my next video.